One of the questions I get the most on this channel is whether or not I continue to take a thyroid medication after having done the AIP diet or the autoimmune paleo protocol. I'll get to the answer to that in just a second. But first, the AIP diet is a great diet for quelling inflammation, healing leaky gut, and really kind of subsiding autoimmune symptoms. However, it doesn't necessarily repair tissue that's been damaged by an autoimmune attack. And unfortunately, if you've had a lot of tissue damaged by an autoimmune attack, like of your thyroid, you may have to continue to take medication for the rest of your life because your thyroid can no longer make the proper amount of hormone that you need. Like you need thyroid hormone. Every cell in your body needs thyroid hormone. So if you can no longer make it, it really kind of makes sense to get it from an outside source. And sometimes there is some healing that still needs to go on, especially with like the conversion of hormones, T4 to T3 and certain kinds of things like this, certain things like estrogen dominance or a, like high stress levels can really affect whether or not your body is able to convert hormones like that. And so you may need to go on to medication for a little while until your body can really straighten out this whole entire process, which may be longer than the amount of time that you're on something like the AIP diet. All of this is to say though, being on a medication is not a failure. I am so glad that we live in this day and age where we have the options of a medication that can help us and diet and resources and new gluten-free products and all of these other things that we can eat to support our health and all of the knowledge that we need to live the lifestyle and mindset and everything that we need to in order to thrive with an autoimmune disease like Hashimoto's. So if you have to continue to take a medication to make sure that your TSH is in the right range, that your T4 converts to T3 properly, and that you feel fantastic, do it. There is no harm in doing so. Now, you may be able to reduce your medication after doing something like the AIP diet, or you may even be in a case where you are actually in a steady dose of medication. Like before I had gotten diagnosed with my Hashimoto's and did the AIP diet, I was on levothyroxine and literally every month I was back at the doctor getting blood taken, checking the TSH, and he was adjusting my medication. I think I had vials of every single kind of levothyroxine, like every dose that they had out there in my nightstand. <laughs> like it was ridiculous. I was basically a pharmacy at that point because I didn't throw anything out because chances were the next month I would have to switch to one of the other ones that I had. A little ridiculous. But this leads into whether or not I take thyroid medication and the answer is yes. However, I've been at a steady dose ever since 2014 when I first did the AIP diet. Not this back and forth stuff like when I was on levothyroxine before AIP and knew anything about diet or stress management or any of that. I no longer take levothyroxine though, I take Armour Thyroid, which was correct for me. I'm not saying that is correct for everybody because everybody is different and will need a different kind of thing. My personal case was I was not converting T4 to T3 properly. So I needed to have that little extra boost of a medication that had both in it. That's one reason why the levothyroxine wasn't continually working for me along with the diet and all the inflammation and blah, 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 you know? <laughs> but once I did go onto this armor, I felt so much better. And that in conjunction with doing the AIP diet and getting the stress management and my lifestyle and everything all under control is why I feel fantastic these days and hardly ever feel like I have any sort of autoimmune disease whatsoever. But I am so thankful that there is medication out there because I don't feel like if I could have a medication that I would feel this way. Diet, lifestyle, mindset, all of that stuff is great and I think it's essential for thriving with an autoimmune disease. But you need the medication part sometimes if your tissue has been attacked enough that it's no longer there. It no longer can do its job. So I'm so thankful that there is an outside source that I can go to to help me thrive. So yes, I do take thyroid medication and it will depend on whether or not you do too, but don't look at it as a failure or any sort of problem if you have to. 
It's just all tools in your toolbox. So there you have it. That's the answer to the medication question. And if you haven't already watched, here are three mistakes I made for my Hashimoto's that I really, really wish I hadn't. A little frustrating that I have, but I'm really, really happy to be able to share these with you so that you don't make these mistakes as well. I'll see you later. Thanks.